I've talked to people about being an opera singer, one of the things they typically ask me about is, oh my gosh, how do you memorize all of that music and all of those words when it's not even in English, your first language? Well, it's actually easier than it sounds. So today I'm going to give you a little information about how I memorize music, and especially the techniques I use to memorize long operas. It is possible, and you can do it. Step one, the first thing you should do if you are trying to memorize a piece of music is listen to it. Unless you are doing a world premiere piece or a really obscure work, chances are you can find it right here on YouTube or Spotify or iTunes. There's a million different music listening options and if you belong to a university, chances are they have their own music option right there in their own library. Those university library options were especially helpful for the more obscure pieces of music that I worked on. Now when I say listen to it, I mean actually actively listen to it. And don't just sit there doing your homework or reading a book and have it playing in the background, although that can be a little bit helpful. Really have your music out, be actively looking at it while the music is playing. That way you can really visualize and listen to what's going on at the same time. It's a really good connection to make there. Likewise, listen to it everywhere. Listen to it in the car, listen to it when you work out, listen to it at night when you're trying to go to sleep. The more you get it into your system, the easier it's going to be to actually actually memorize it. So there are two different categories of music memorization. There are the actual music notes on one hand, and then there are the words if you are a vocalist. These are two entirely different cans of worms. So let's talk about what's helpful for both. If you are doing a strophic piece, meaning there are words and there are choruses, start with the chorus. Learn the repeated material. The quicker you learn the repeated material that happens multiple times in a piece, the more you have memorized right off the bat. It makes it much less stressful to go through it. That includes not just learning the melody, but learning those words if you're a singer. Then you want to get into the more difficult passages or the passages that just don't repeat. Now, musically, if there are some really hard sections of the music, chances are it's just plain hard to sing that passage without even counting the memorization part of it. So if you go through those really difficult passages in small chunks, start at the end and then move backwards. Then if you can do these small sections, forwards, backwards, out of tempo, out of sequence, it will definitely give you a leg up and make it easier to memorize. And as you're working on those difficult notes, chances are you're going to memorize it as you're working on it without even trying to work on memorization. And that's because you've done it so much. I've often found that on the more difficult pieces, it's actually easier to memorize just because I'm working so hard to learn the music itself. It will just happen naturally. Wouldn't it be nice if everything was that way? So repetition, 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 repetition. That is another way to memorize. Not the most fun way, but a good way nonetheless. As you have memorized little sections of the music, make sure that you are working on it little bits throughout the day. So you might have your main practice session, but at different times of the day, you can mentally go through the music as you're doing other things. For example, if you're sitting there brushing your teeth, in your head, you can be saying, these are the words to this verse and I'm singing this verse in my head, just over and over and over. If you are going to get your lunch at work and you are walking there or something like that, you have a chance to go through all the words in your head or the melody in your head. It's just to make sure that you're solidifying that and then you can realize, oh, hmm, I don't quite know that part. I need to go back to that later. It makes it easier to catch those difficult spots that you more easily forget. The point is to keep the repetition going and going and going so that it becomes part of your muscle memory. Now, if certain things are proving much harder to memorize than they usually are for you, this is where the hard work comes in. You may want to put those sections together with movement. So you might be marching through your practice room or your house at the tempo of that piece, working that music, working it into your brain, into your whole body, where you are literally putting movement with the words or with the melody. You'd be so surprised at how your own body movement, really working that song into your physical body, is so helpful for the brain's memorization. It doesn't seem like they would correlate, but in my experience, it's been so much easier. I've been known to be found waltzing in my practice room, just singing my music, waltzing along. You do you. 
you dance in that practice room because who cares you're memorizing i'd rather dance and be memorized than not dance and be totally losing all the words speaking of the words one really helpful tip that i have used for memorizing words is actually writing them down so at first i'll start just looking at the copy of the music and physically looking and then writing it down then i graduate to the step of recall so I am writing it down and trying to recall it from my brain, only peeking when I really need to, to find out what those words are next. This is just another way of working those words into your body. Now, if you are not singing something in your native language, this can make things especially difficult. The best way to memorize for this, I've found, is other than actually speaking that language, because not all of us can just learn how to speak another language in a short period of time, it is helpful to translate everything that you say and if you are in a huge production everything the characters say before and after you not only does this help with memorization because you know what you're actually saying so it's easier for you to remember what to say but it will help your actual performance because you know what you're saying not just a general idea of what you're doing you will really be able to get into that character really be able to drive through those words with the actual literal point that the author was trying to make also you'll find that oftentimes in other languages some of their words are very similar to ours so that's another trigger for your brain to remember oh this is what i'm trying to say here if you are working on a deadline make sure you set a schedule for yourself the last thing you want is for you to be working hard at memorizing and then realize, oh my gosh, I've been working so hard on these small sections, but I have so much left to go and I have two days to learn the rest of it. That doesn't help anyone. If at the beginning you know that I have two months, let's say, to learn this whole opera, then you are going to take those different sections of it, the different arias you sing or the recitative, whatever production you're in or whatever songs you are singing for whatever event, take those, break them up into pieces. What's repetitive material? What's new material? What is hard? What is easy? Take your agenda or your calendar and literally write out, I'm going to work on measures blank through blank or pages blank through blank this day and take it from different sections. Have a mix of what's hard and easy on a different day. Have a mix of what's repetitive material and what's new material on a day. Then if you make sure that you're meeting those individual daily goals, you can be prepared even in advance of your own personal deadline. This is so important. The last thing you want to do is show up to a production unprepared. This is the part that's a little counterintuitive. You may find that memorizing is increasingly more and more difficult. If that's the case, you may find that you may need to take a rest day, just like if you were going to the gym. I mean, if your body can't work out like that every single day, your brain might need a rest too. Take a day off, make sure you're relaxing your mind, and then the next day you'll be able to start fresh, you'll be less frustrated, you'll be better able to take in new information. All you musicians out there, thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my channel for more advice. Please like it. If you and your music buddies are trying to memorize music for a show, or an opera or a recital anything like that please share my video with them and also please share your advice in the comments you can never have too much advice okay maybe sometimes you can have too much advice but for the most part advice is really helpful thanks for watching see you next time